Hey everyone, so one haircut later, I am feeling very liberated, you know, birds were starting to nest, I was developing a proper kind of um, wild man haircut, so it was about time, I kind of, I I have this little phobia of going to the hairdresser, it's like, especially once your hairline starts, starts growing a little bit, um, you don't really want to risk you know, it's it's uncomfortable risking a bad haircut and then looking like uber dork for two weeks. Um, so, but so far so good. It's um, I am pleased enough with the result. I'm not disfigured, at least. Um, so the topic I I wanted to just say something about then a, a topic that's been floating around forever, and that's prostitution and pornography. And I'm gonna focus on prostitution because I think everything that could be said about pornography could be said about prostitution but there in prostitution there's a far larger risk of people getting um, exploited abused whatever and I might I, I think probably at one stage I'll make a longer video where I'll go into more of my views but at this point I just want to put out like the short version which is I am in favor of legalizing because I think first of all people um, consenting adults that have been found to be mentally competent by society we have to be really kind of careful when we restrict their rights and as I've said in some of my other videos I think there are cases where we should restrict people's rights um, even though I'm a libertarian liberal whatever um, I think those cases exist but there's, there's not very many of them and we have to be very careful and I think generally prostitution doesn't really fall into that area um, so uh, and the other thing is I think even if you decriminalize it for the prostitutes but it's still not legal um, as long as you keep it from being something that's actually accepted you know it's it's going to keep a social stigma and okay you can look at experience so far in the world and say well legalization may not have worked all that well but of course it's only in the early stages it's still illegal in most places in the world um, and I think it's it will be a process of changing the view but the problem is that if you keep it um, illegal but just decriminalize I think it'll become something like weed is in a lot of countries. Um, yes, it's decriminalized, so yes, it's become something less of a social kind of... I mean, weed isn't necessarily a social stigma because almost everyone smoked it, but there's something unsavory about the idea of weed, even in countries that have decriminalized it. Yet alcohol, being a worse drug, uh, is not just not associated with this kind of stigma with a pothead kind of dope head dope fiend um, image it's it's pretty much um, a part of society and uh, it's it's heralded and lauded as this wonderful social kind of thing to do and that's a huge discrepancy and I think one of the big reasons keeping that kind of barrier up is that it's still that it's still not legal even if it's decriminalized um, and I think a similar thing is probably gonna is probably gonna go on with prostitution even if you do decriminalize it um, although obviously decriminalization is way better than uh, keeping it completely illegal and arresting people that's just horrible I mean you're arresting in the best case you're arresting the victim it doesn't make any sense uh, but so, I mean, I think in principle legalization is the way to go for me for that reason and for the reason that people should be allowed to choose their own, um, their own path in life. But, I mean, I have two big kind of things that kind of um, go along with that. The first one is people really need to be given an opportunity to do something else. 
people need I think people should be given the free choice to be, engage in prostitution but at the same time it needs to be a free choice and for me it's not a free choice if people are basically being forced into it because they don't have any money they don't have the money to pay the rent or they well they have barely the existential minimum or below that if people don't have a choice they have a horrible lifestyle and they can't get any education they can't get any other job opportunities it's not really a choice that's generally my problem with the entire capitalist system you get tossed out there and then if you're working in a coal mine and you die three years because of black lung in whatever the 18th century then that was your choice no you have to be allowed free you have to be allowed other choices at every part in your life so if you suddenly want to do something else you have to be able to otherwise it's not a free choice and people trapped in that system will um, will be very unhappy and that's not a good thing so if it's gonna be a thing that we allow people to do because they because we want them to be free in their choices we have to make it a truly free choice that's my biggest concern and I think almost pretty much everyone that's even having this discussion will agree on that because most of the people that don't even want to go into this discussion um, they probably don't care whether the prostitute has a choice she's just bad and everything associated with it is bad so just put them all in jail since we're having that discussion I think we can all agree that the best thing is to give the people the choice so that they can just do something else if they don't want to do it so I think that's the first important thing is um, giving people a choice and I think that will really fix a lot of the problem by itself because that means that people if they're getting exploited can actually go and do something else and so people would only stay if uh, they were actually being respected and being rewarded appropriately of course there are other issues um, like the smuggling going on but then again that should not really influence the very very tightly which should be very tightly um, regulated industry so there could still be illegal kind of prostitution of people that are being smuggled into the country going on and that needs to be fought tooth and nail um, because those people obviously won't be protected um, won't have those choices because they're being at, at, uh, under threat of violence being forced into it um, but I think for the people that go into prostitution um, <coughs> that are not in that situation that would really alleviate a lot of the issues surrounding prostitution anyways but I mean the next thing is uh, generally prostitution as a business I think there are certain businesses where people need to be protected especially well because there's such a big risk of people being exploited or people getting um, getting sick or getting injured or whatever and that's the case in prostitution for example people can get uh, sick people can um, get attacked by um, their clients something like that so it's definitely a risky business so in those instances I think it's important to try to make sure that the that any business involved in this kind of um, in this trade is first of all super well regulated and therefore required to exist at a level of kind of integrity um, and upfrontness and transparency that far exceeds most other businesses so um, if you you know if you're doing like a if you're running a plant that deals with deadly chemicals or a coal mine or whatever um, usually there's a lot of regulation and you can't just be a fly-by-night operation you can't just open your own little chemical lab in your shed and hire a bunch of people to make something that's not legal so there has to be a large investment in order for you to create all of the safety measures and so on and so forth and I think that needs to be true of prostitution as well if it's legalized because because if it's a fly-by-night operation with people that have nothing invested that exploit someone and then even if they get caught out just 
just go close their business and open another business um, then there's really no incentive to stick to any regulation or rules and the basic exploitative nature of the capitalist system will rear its ugly head and these people are in the most vulnerable position they will be heavily exploited it will be very bad um, so for that reason pe there needs to be a huge so these people need to really be heavily invested they need to be regulated they need to be checked all the time uh, there need to be mandatory tests for all of the people in the business in terms of uh, checking their health and their status and um, all of that and uh, the whole mechanism really needs to be set up to help the the people involved in that industry to make sure that they're being treated um, fairly you know uh, and so I mean basically if a business starts up it should have to be basically a big enough business with enough investment that they can't afford to just um, do terrible things to their workers and of course big mis businesses do do terrible things to their workers but that's because they're not regulated enough they need to be more regulated and when they violate something there need to be huge fines so that needs to be doubly the case in the case of prostitution and the other thing is obviously people might want to go into the business for themselves which may well be kind of the the optimal condition anyways because they're not paying a middleman and so on and so forth but in that case as well they should um, in order for it to be legal kind of run that through some kind of a mechanism or a place um, there needs to be something in place to protect those people as well so because if again if they can supposedly as individuals just run it out of um, out of whatever operation they set up then that will encourage the situation where there's someone basically um, in the background um, exploiting them and forcing them to do this so all of these things should really come from really well regulated things and people that want to do it on an individual basis should um, kind of be I don't know licensed or operate in like established venues or something like that to make super sure that um, that they're protected and um, taken care of um, and don't fall prey to um, to bad people and under those circumstances I mean my feeling is that with time that is the best solution and with time given that if people really had those choices either prostitution would end or people would just be respected in that profession and be rewarded um, sufficiently to make it a good deal for them but that needs to be the case uh, so that's basically my my position on prostitution um, but whatever whatever the approach is that we choose I think we do have to bring a scientific mindset to it we have to bring a mindset to it that's scientific in analyzing the harm that's caused to people participating in it and we obviously have to involve the people participating in it most of all in the discussion because they have the best information I mean I'm talking about out of my ass um, but they have the best on the ground information about what their problems are and what their issues are and they will have ideas on how to uh, support them and how to fix those issues and we should definitely take those uh, those suggestions really seriously and then we need to go back do the studies check regularly what's going on and see what the outcome is and then try to achieve the best outcome for um, the people employed in that industry. Uh, anyways, as I said, I you know it's this is just me talking. I'm not an expert. I I haven't even you know I've read up just in preparation for this video a little bit, but I'm not too well informed. So if I you know I'm I'm sure I'm missing 
lots of points that people have made in the past um, and so on and so forth so please you know just inform me of that and let me know where to go um, and let me know if you disagree and you know where I'm going wrong uh, I would love to hear from you and I will see you guys all later